Only gamers know the tower. Well, that means me because I play monkey games, which makes me a gamer. And we're on round 39 and 40 on, oh, ouch. I really am not the biggest fan of this map, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. We have $15,000. The first thing I wanna do is just put subs everywhere. We only get one tower. Well, what good is an advanced Intel sub gonna be? Well, you know what we can do? What if we go with this path instead? It's not gonna be long range though, huh? That's gonna be kind of scary, but I wonder what it'll do anyway. We'll go all the way up here and then go like that. Barely misses, he doesn't even hit the side over there. So how about never miss targeting? We've had some good luck with that one. Well, do we get to sell? No, so why do we have so much money left? Oh, okay, because only true gamers know the tower. Okay, well maybe it's like Quincy, but in a good spot, maybe in the middle. Oh, we only zero dollars to sell, so we 100% have to sell the middle, that makes sense. And then we'll just boost Quincy up here to level seven. Can Quince get this? No, Quincy's pretty bad, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, can this one pop black balloons? I think it can nowadays, right? So this one could be it. This is a pretty true gamer tower, as they could call it. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. So beautiful. But it's gonna miss a lot. But if we go with faster ones, I wish it just automatically got rid of the river, though, so we don't have to keep dealing with that. But we're gonna go like this one and then faster reload. We still have $9,000, but let's so fast. I do wanna try the boat because if you didn't know, Oh, that one too. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Okay, come on. We're gonna have like rainbows come through here and then we have a Moab too. Oh my gosh. And we have to pop the Moab. We have one life and we can't sell. That's the crazy part to me is that we can't sell. If we can get all these. Okay, there we go. Now pop it open and take it out. No, not even close. Not even a little bit close. Do we have enough for, oh, we do not have enough for Elite Great Fender. This isn't enough to pop them. Oh man, I don't know. Like it'll definitely take down 39, but not 40. I am stand corrected. It will not take down 39 either. So I thought I'd give this one a try, but the problem is, is that it's just not good. It's really not. Okay, get him, get him, get him. Okay, not gonna work. I'd consider the Dartling a gamer tower, but this just isn't gonna, no, 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 no. How would you even make that work? I'm thinking maybe the top path we could make work because we could actually just guide it around if we go slow enough, but we don't have enough for plasma accelerator. So that's definitely not the answer. I never give this guy enough credit and he might be good. We have $10,000 left. He's not good. <laughs> don't even think it for a second. He's not good guys. Don't worry about it. But you know who is good is this guy right here. Nope. I lied again. I'm just a big liar today, guys. I don't know nothing about this game, apparently. I'm trying to think of who's gonna definitely take down everything on 39, and it's gonna be, you know, like the ninja or the boomer, but then we're not gonna be able to take down what's on 40. So, like, this guy should be able to take down everything. Maybe not. The way those are slipping through, they were struggling a bit on those rainbows. But you know what? I always forget and underestimate, overestimate, whatever you wanna call it. I'm just like, oh, it won't be that tower. That'd be silly. And it could easily just be that tower. 2100 left? Could it be him? He just shoots darts, but those crits though are pretty wicked. And if we put it on strong, maybe? And why do I put him here? I could just put him on the side and actually get closer to the Moab. Let's see if he can take this down and we'll give that one a shot. So that was actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So if we go all the way here, can it attack that? Can it get that side right there? No, it can't, so that's not gonna work for us. Top path shreds pretty well too, but we're gonna have the same problem when it comes to the actual Moab. You know, I just realized I don't like saying the word Moab. It just sounds silly, doesn't it? Like Moab, Moab. I used to play this uh, game when I was younger called Neopets, and there was this thing called like a Mohog, and it just reminds me of that, like Moab, Mohog, you know what I mean? But here we go with that Moab, Mohog, <laughs> and then let's see if we can, can we pop it open at least? Oh, barely popped it open, okay. Now what about just going like straight top path with bottom path like that? Cause then we'll actually stop the Moab and then everything under, if we can get through this this is the answer one shot everything we're good dude this would totally work too because it would stop the moab for sure maybe we can go like this and put it this way no because then it's just going to shred things open right that was stupid i thought long range would cover this area oh it actually is covering the area but it's not gonna regen in time so that's so bad oh a helicopter maybe like down like seriously though come on dude what are you thinking like down draft really like yeah we can blow stuff away but what good is that gonna do i don't know if this one will reach our oh my gosh look at him just miss though oh my goodness i thought that was gonna work for sure because we at least had the ability that was bad druid and jungle's bounty no <laughs> what am i missing here bottom path oh no twelve thousand dollars like, I wonder if we'll get enough for it. If we just one-shot everything, do we get money? No, no money, actually. So that's not gonna work either. So I thought changing it up a little bit with this guy and maybe putting him in like a different spot and then changing his targeting to, let's say, strong. It does one-shot them, which is nice, but then he just completely misses that one. But I feel like we just need this one to hit right there, right there. Oh, and it just completely whips it. So that can't be the answer. Now, if we go with this guy, I know he'll pop everything, 
everything but the Moab. Like, he should pop everything, right? Oh, no. He's not even good enough? Ooh, that's scary, guys. The bouncing shot should do well, but it, ah, it's just you have to get lucky by hitting everything. Because it does really well when it actually bounces. Because look at that. It just actually shoots. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. What about the faster one? Oh, no. It doesn't kill him in one shot. That's pretty wicked. Okay, we got Super Magic Monkey. Oh, dude, this guy totally rocks Moabs. Do they have any Moab health? No, that's it. No, this guy could actually totally take it home, I think, because I know that this guy, for like a million dollars, can totally shred through Moab class with, that, with ease, right? So maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, but everything underneath, though, he did shred really well. I'm very proud of him. Now, we just got to get him closer to the track. We're barely touching that right side. This might cause us some problems. No, it's guided. So that could actually be a thing, because we just... Didn't able to hit it fast enough on the mob. And here we go again. Let's try it. See, look, we're going to break it open a lot better. Oh, yes, we got a lot better. So let's test the barriers of brokenness and actually move this guy to where he's like not even on there. Just like right here to where he barely even touches that side. No, that's even too much. We need to go even farther over. Well, that's not going to cut it. Well, maybe if it guides all the way there. Oh, if we could just get lucky and it guides over to the right side, that could be a thing. That'll work. It's far enough over and we can get like an extra shot on that Moab. Ooh, no, never mind. It just broke the ones on the bottom. So I'm using this like drain thing as like a good reference point and this is the best we're gonna get so hopefully it works All right, you got this bad boy. You got this. Okay, take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down Oh my gosh. No, that's just not gonna work. I don't think I don't think that's the answer for whatever reason I thought the maelstrom would like if you got a long range upgrade shouldn't it be long range That's anything but for sure There used to be a day when the sub top path would actually just shoot everywhere. That was OP now It's not like that. I just used OP in a sentence. I find that kind of funny, but that's gonna suck up those ones But that's not gonna work either there. You know what is going to work though is this guy. We were just a little bit off, but if we can make his thing reach just perfectly. So I'm going to set a reference point to this little edge. You see the little edge right there, right next to his little hand? And it's barely touching the track, so it should hit it. No. Didn't hit it at all. So we're going to put that little hand inside where his little thumb is touching that side point right there. Oh, get that last red one. If we could get that last red one, I think it's just pure luck at that point. So I'm going to move him up a little bit and put his hand in the little pit just like that. Well, we'll try again. Oh, it's so close. It's just so close. We need one more hit, I think. One more hit and we have it good. What I'm thinking is, what about the middle path? Because then this guy will cover all that up. No, he doesn't even hit it. Oh, but the fire will help the bomb. Oh, yes, that's it. That's it. So we're more than enough to beat this side up. And we have fire. So that should fight the Moab as well. But I don't know how much damage intense magic actually does. It might be so much that it, this is just going to be like totally a stupid thing to try. Dude true gamer right here put that fire down oh no that fire kind of sucked let's be real that fire really sucked it came out like 10 years later so the goal now obviously is just to move this guy down as far as we can and the reason is my thought process is that well i'm hoping that this genius magician puts the fire over here when the moab comes out but it'll be you know faster because it's not all the way up at the top that's the idea anyway but we'll see if he actually does it like today oh no you put it all the way back there you're you're a dummy you're just a big dummy one of these days i'm gonna learn how to play this game no this is gonna work that has to be the answer i mean i'm just sitting here thinking like what else can take down the moab and duh the boat can the the boat can guys the boat can take down the moab with his eyes closed but can he take down the balloons that's the problem it just that's not gonna work that one shot it worked pretty awesomely it didn't work but if we put this one on the track closer it should be able to hit the moab better because last time we beat all the like balloons very easily but we didn't beat the moabs now we got this pop it open pop it open one more not even well I, I can't say not even close but it just it wasn't close same concept but let's get this guy closer to the track if i put him right here will he reach oh yeah he does he's good oh he's gonna be chasing for sure yeah for sure look at this go those crits are nice okay this is it for sure okay okay crit 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 come on dude crit some more Nope, no, no, no. And what was with that little arm flicker at the end? What the heck was that about? We're gonna do first and strong instead of first and last. All right, here we go. Can you beat it? Look at those little laser beams coming out. Are those the critical shots? That's pretty, oh! Okay, we need to push the envelope here. We gotta put this guy as far over as we can. I think it's RNG based at this point. That was so close. But so was the wizard though, and the wizard's more accurate, right? The wizard's gonna work the same every time, but this guy's just kind of hit and miss. Like literally he hits and then he misses. And those criticals, what judges the critical? Just because because he feels like it because it's Wednesday.
Look at that. Yeah, you see that? That's the criticals. They're totally random. The entire time we've had this sitting there at our disposal. Please let me know below if you guys saw that like six hours ago and you're just sitting here yelling at the screen like, dude, just hit that button because the thing's going to knock it back. There's no way it can't take out rainbows. I, I kind of hope that it can't take out the rainbows. Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad that he lost right there. I really am because, oh my God, he can dark shift though. It doesn't even matter. But then, oh, could we go the top path too instead? What I'm saying is we can dark shift over to the Moab at the end of 30 if we can't beat it okay no, no no okay good he's not good he's not good we can go up to this one though oh my gosh that'll work for pretty much everything i'd imagine but look how he ah oh, look how he knocks those back so he's gonna have problems on zebras for sure and the rainbows is gonna be ugly guys i feel like this has to be it though should we just dark shift back and forth like if one's getting out like right now should we dark shift over there to help it like right there poof dark shift but now we left that one out and what's the sad part is we actually could have probably made that part of me thinks like what if i put it on strong because he might just focus on what matters instead and then maybe i can switch it if i need to yeah look he's only focusing on what matters that's actually pretty good and he doesn't oh my gosh was that the problem the whole time that was way closer though way closer so this time it's actually working i'm going like between fast and strong and then oh my gosh i think that was my fault of bad microing we just got to make this one work. That's all there is to it. Just got to get lucky with those crits, that last one. And it's just, oh my gosh, sometimes it's like one balloon, sometimes it's 75. You never know. This one's it. I feel it right here. It's first and strong. He's in range. He's critting like crazy. He's turning around. He's doing what he needs to do. And he, and he sucks. And he sucks. We have had Comanche defense this whole time. He does very, very bad against the black balloons, but he does have rockets. I did not know he had rockets. And he can shove back the Moab. This is for sure. I would never use this tower and I've even done a video on this called like most underrated and I still am bad. I am so bad at this game. But this is for sure if I can not mess it up now, but these rockets are coming in clutch. Oh my goodness. Now we just have to hope, well, we can move the rocket back though, like the Moab back, right? Like we can just sit it back here. Oh my gosh. And just wait for it to go. And then his guys should come back. His homies should help out at this point, I would imagine. Yes, bring in the homies, bring in the homies. Oh my gosh, he brought the homies. That was it. How many of you knew that the whole time? Let me know below. I'm going to finish this off with a fun one. Towers on the castle only. So we can only place towers on the castle. That sounds pretty cool. On round 76. Can the glue handle it just like that? I don't know, right? Like that would be kind of crazy. Oh my gosh. The glue's that good. Well, if we put it on last, so we put it on last. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's all you had to do. This one says take a wild guess. We're going to get it in one try. Just one try. It's round... It's round 76 and we have all towers available, $32,000. I'm pretty sure it's going to be two for glue, right? He 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 ha. Come on guys. Give me a break here. No more glue gunners. We don't want that stuff. It's round 63 with a lot of money. Okay. I thought it was going to be glue gunner for sure on that one. <laughs> okay. We can still use the glue gunner to our advantage though. We'll just glue everything, slow everything down. And when we get those last ones out, we'll just like use our ability. And then I don't even know what we'll do afterwards. Yeah. I don't mind this at all. Let's get this one and then glue everything and then take it out. So as soon as we get the ability, we'll, we'll how about once all the leads are on the screen. Well, now we'll go like that. Well, that's actually pretty good. We just have to wait for it to regen and he'll glue them in the meantime to help out that's not a bad deal there we go the elite great fender is just that it's great and if you enjoyed that then i know for a fact that you'll like this video where we have to discover and use the nastiest combo to beat bloons cd6